Welcome back, everyone. My name is Josh Masters. And I'm Natalie Meeks. And we are experiencing the Word together. We continue our journey through the Book of Ruth, learning to meditate on God's Word and how to be still before God. And it's incredible how even when you take these little passages, the short ones, uh, you know, because we had longer passages in the last study. Right. Um, and these are like two, three, four verses, yet God speaks to us, and that's incredible. Yes. So yesterday we had a little section that we called Naomi's counsel. Today we're going to move on to Naomi's plan. And that is going to be Ruth chapter 3, verses 3 through 5. So Naomi's counsel to Naomi's plan. And whenever I read this passage, this is not biblically accurate at all, but I always picture her at like a, a whiteboard or a chalkboard, like a football coach an American football coach like okay you go in this way and then go around here <laughs> right right um, but that's not really what happened at all so listen to what Natalie reads not what I am saying uh, I, let me pray for us and then you can go ahead and read the passage <sighs> father God we thank you that you are a God who has a true plan and that you direct us in our plans so I pray as we read today about the work that you did in the life of Naomi and Ruth and Boaz, that you would encourage us, that you would reveal yourself, and that you would teach us how to be still. Teach us to be still so we can hear your voice and we can see who you truly are. We give you praise in the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Yeah, as Josh said, yesterday's verse is very short. We just had two, Naomi's counsel today, Naomi's plan, verses 3 through 5. I'm reading right now in the New Living Translation. All right, verse 3. Now do as I tell you. Take a bath and put on perfume and dress in your nicest clothes. Then go to the threshing floor. But don't let Boaz see you until he has finished eating and drinking. Be sure to notice where he lies down. Then go and uncover his feet and lie down there. He will tell you what to do. I will do everything you say, Ruth replied. Now there's a lot to that that we could explain, but it's better that you seek God and see what he has to say to you through the verse. But if you want to, after the fact, dig into the meaning behind some of the things that Naomi said, then I want to encourage you to go watch the sermon series I did specifically on chapter three on the book of Ruth. But please don't do that until after you're finished doing Experiencing the Word, because I don't want the sermon to influence what you think you're hearing from God. Do right. that first. But then, you know, to dig into the history and what's really going on and, and the, the contextual uh, right. nature of what she's being asked to do, uh, then you can go and watch the sermon. And that's available at joshuajmasters.com slash Ruth. We'll put a link in the description. Um, and there's also a link in the workbook if you're using our workbook, which um, you can also get using the link in the description. That's right. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing you back tomorrow. And God bless. God bless. <laughs>